So coming back to S3. So there's two real options when it comes to understanding traffic. The first one is looking at CloudTrail. And CloudTrail is a service that monitors AWS API management events, like creating users, creating buckets, um, creating instances, things like that. But you can actually also configure CloudTrail to monitor object level events from buckets as well, instead of just the management events. The second option is S3 server access logs, which is a similar monitoring mechanism, but this provides a more detailed web style log on how objects are being accessed. And we'll go deeper into each of these approaches. So with CloudTrail, the biggest advantage here is that it's low latency. And it also has a lower configuration overhead and some additional uh, filtering options as well. But the downside is that you have to pay for the data events that are collected in addition to the storage cost of the collected events. But with S3 server access logs, you only pay that storage cost. You don't have to pay for the actual events that are, that are gathered. Um, and then additionally, you get a more detailed log. So this is more of a web style, HTTP style log. So you can see the refers, you can see the total request time, the object size, and then you can craft slightly different rules um, on this data than you could with CloudTrail. You can also see authentication failures, transitions into Glacier and other um, S3 storage types. The disadvantage here though, is that it takes a little bit longer for us to get this log data and the configuration is a little bit more involved. 